I'm stuck in the boiling right Sometimes. now over, over one person. Really? Yeah. Stuck in the, in the boiling. In the podcast universe? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, kind of, but not really. I mean, no, no. I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but, uh, it's a woman. <laughs> How did you guess it so quick? <laughs> I just knew it. Wow. So, but whenever you get in those moments and you have those feelings, are you able to like start the conversation with somebody and say, this is kind of what's going on? Or do you get stuck in this, in that boiling? I get stuck in the boiling. Yeah. I guess sometimes, sometimes I, I'm stuck in the boiling right sometimes. now over, over one person. Really? Yeah. Stuck in the, in the boiling. In the podcast universe? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, this... kind of, but not really. I mean, no, no. I mean, yes. <sighs> I'm, I'm, but, uh, it's a woman. <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> and so, 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 yeah, I have to, I have to uh, learn. I'll talk to Leanne about it. I'm in therapy. Um, Better help. Shout out to Better Help. Oh yeah, you know? totally, dude. Uh, that's good, man. Use the promo code burning. The, uh, the, but I have to, I have to work through it. I, I've had it bad. And Are you and, able and to it, call them and talk to them about it or no? I tried. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some people. Yeah, some people. I had an issue with one dude, and uh, and I texted him, and we texted back and forth, and I didn't actually have an issue with the dude. The dude had an issue with me, and I was like, I want to end this. I want to. I want to get past this. There's some people I have I've written off, like I've, and I don't think of them. Like I just wrote them off, and I was like, that's that's, that's I, that was a big thing. My wife taught me is that some people are just dead to you. You just got to go. Oh, you're dead to me. I, I I can't be your friend. The thing you do is a little toxic, and it fucks me up, and I just need to stop. Right. It's just not the best relationship. It's not the best relationship for me, and I don't want it for me. Yeah, and then there's people you want to have a relationship with that, and that's the ones we're talking about where you want to have a relationship with, but they hurt you, and then and because you're hurt, you I end up just laying in bed and ruminating. It's called is it ruminating or it's where you repeat the thought over and over and over again mm. of how you have the conversation. There's been there's been uh, moms yeah. that moms that there's been parents that have gave my kid alcohol like mm. that. I just to this day burn it to the fucking ground. When I found that out, I was like, what the fuck. Like, you know, because there's cool parents who are like, you guys can drink at my house. Yeah, that's insane. Thank you. Leads to molestation, leads to people getting pregnant, kids fucking outside. Thank you. That. And because I'm the guy that drinks on stage with his shirt off and parties and I thought you'd be cool with it. Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, I also fuck my wife. I don't want you fucking my kid. Like, (laughs) the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, Dude, I, I remember I got a blowjob one time behind like a real small tree, right? This girl invited me behind a small tree and we were young and pretty dumb and we got busted, man. Really? Yeah. And it was like, just cause there's no way to really hide behind it, you know? Wait, how old were you? Probably 13, 14, you know? Wow. That's a early to get a blowjob. <laughs> At a party. <laughs> what? It was like, so dumb. It literally, the tree was like this wide and we're like... You know, doing a blow, you know, getting a blow job done, and the parents showed up, and and that's what happens when kids drink at houses, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, kids I, yeah. drink when you drink, and your your crotch comes out. Like that's what like the first. That's the po- that's the point of drinking. Yeah. It's like it's like. It- I'm not drinking to fucking learn more about you know. Yeah, my my daughter's math. not drinking. My daughter's not drinking because she has ticket sales in in Alaska. She needs to move. <laughs> she's not drinking because her numbers are low in Lubbock. <laughs> They're fucking. She's drinking because she wants. They, they want to party. They want to fucking fucking suck a duck. Yeah. Fucking. They're not. Fuck. She's not drinking because her wife wants to buy another house. They're, they're <laughs> fucking. Are they, is that is that okay? That's double. I'm like, what that's your name. A stroke. No, but right above my name, that's double print. That's like oh yeah, overlapped. double print. Um, yeah, so and so like I do, I'll ruminate over stuff like that. But I'm, I've gotten better. Therapy really helps because you gotta you gotta let shit go. Oh yeah, man, it's hard, and especially you gotta realize other people are just living their lives. A lot of times they don't even know what they're doing. Like it's old wounds that we attach to like new things that happen, man. Oh, it's been I've been down that road. I feel yeah. like we've all been there. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, I feel I feel like uh. I, I said to my wife, I, I, I said to my wife very vocally a few, a few months ago, I was like, I need to like double up on therapy. She was mm-hmm. like, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know. I think I'm, ha- I think I'm starting a midlife crisis. Like I like the feelings of turning 50. Um, like, is it fear? Like, what do you mean? 
Um, no, I just started realizing certain things. I started realizing, like, actualizing certain things, going like, shit, man. Like, you know, Tim Dillon said something very, very uh, insightful to me. I, I, I was having a rough day, and uh, and I, I think, no, I think I was having a great day. But regardless, I was talking about, you know, sometimes you wake up, you think of death. That's the first your first thought. And I'm like, that's not cool. And uh, and you got to fight through it, you know. And I and Tim Dillon said, you are at the height of your life. It will never get better than right now, today. Your kids are in that house. Everyone's here. The whole family's healthy. They haven't told you to quit drinking yet. You're making the most money you've ever made. You're doing the biggest venues I've ever done. You got a movie in the can. You got movies lined up. You are living. Your life today will never get better in the future. So seize today. And I went, mm. oh. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like death freaks me out. And so I, I got to try to push through death of like, again, one day you die. It's undeniable. One day it goes black for everyone. It just goes black. That's, that's why, that's what leads me to the guest I want to get on my podcast that you were trying to guess. Okay. So, you know, it's a person of faith. I know who it is then. If you know it. The Pope. No. <laughs> By the way, huge get. Huge get. The Pope would be fucking great. And he's like. A person of faith. He's like, hey. Justin Bieber. You're so fucking close. You're so fucking close. Carl Lentz. I don't know who that is. 